So for example, the first thing that we have is that we're gonna have now a link mobile application uh, coming with a phone that you can actually acquire for free from the marketplace and being able to access to your link uh, services, whether they are on-premise using your private cloud or your public cloud using Windows uh, Office 365. So you see, this is a new link line that we're showing for the first time today. Here I can see my own photograph. I can change my status update. As you can see, showing me that I'm out of office. Um, but it's also showing me uh, my status, and I can change that anytime that I want. If I swipe to the side, uh, I can see here all my list of contacts. And as you can see, it's showing me the groups that I have on my link application on my PC are replicated down here into my mobile client. So I, I see exactly the same thing that I see on my PC. And if I swipe to the side again, now I can see all the different conversations that I have at any time, so I can actually track why I'm having, uh, having uh, IMs with people. So what I want to do is I want to start working with a group of people that have been working on a particular project that is really hot right now that is called this Profits Project. So I've created a group in my uh, um, link a client on my PC that, again, is shown down in here. And I want to ask Eric right here, uh, where, as, where is the latest RFP that the vendor was sending us for that uh, profits project. So I'm just going to ask him here, uh, where is the RFP? And as you can see, I can correct that really quickly and then send it over. So now we're using the secure linked IM system uh, to communicate with my work colleagues and I can have access to all that information at any time. I can have access to them, search for them, see what their availability is, and many more other things that we're going to be announcing later on about what we can do with Link and the integration that we have with Link services. Again, whether they are on-premise or they are online. Um, so hopefully Eric is going to be seeing this IM really soon. Uh, we'll be replying. So well, let's just move on then. Uh, probably he's not paying attention to his computer right now. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, move, on, move along. And I'll show you where we have the uh, uh, document for the RFP. So what I know is that basically that RFP is sitting down on my uh, email. So what I can do now is I can actually go back into my star screen and you'll see here that I have two different icons. One icon that is called my Outlook inbox, and that is my full inbox. But something that we can do now with this new release is that we're going to be able to have access to folders that are in my uh, folder structure in Exchange, uh, whether it's online or on-premise. So if I go to my Profits Project folder, what I'm doing now is instead of going to my inbox, I'm going to one particular folder directly from my start screen, so I can actually have access to those emails that I've been filing in that particular folder. And from here, I can see all the emails that I have. I can swipe and filter and show, for example, only the emails that are not read, as I, I could have done in my inbox as well. I can swipe again, and I can show flagged emails. I can see urgent emails as well, so it's really easy for me to filter my inbox. And here, I go back into my all, and you'll see that I have here emails that are flagged, that I have forwarded, and all those things. And this particular email, this one from Tally Roth, for, for example, as you can see, there are three little dots in there. That means that this email is not an email, it's a conversation. So we've done conversation view here. You see how can I expand that or collapse it? So it's really easy for me to actually track down a conversation the same way that I do it on my PC. So we're enabling in this new release conversation view here, and I can apply things to any particular email within inside a conversation or to the whole thread if I want in a very easy way. So that's super easy for me to do. Um, and that way, uh, also, what is important is that the emails that are being pulled down into the conversation view are not just from this particular folder. If I have been filing emails for the same conversation in other folders, they're going to be pulled in into here because this is not just grouping by subject. It is really using the conversation that we have in Exchange. So this is conversation view done right. Now, if I move ahead a little bit, you'll see that, for example, I have here this email from Katie, which is the email with the RFP information. I can click on it, and as you can see, there is a little lock in there. That lock means that this email has been copy protected. So we fully support as well now in this new release, IRM. So we're going to be able to secure emails that uh, you couldn't uh, actually do something with them depending on the policies that you apply to the email. So if I click on the protected message, it's, ask, it's actually telling me that I, it's uh, marked as do not forward. So I can read the email, I can reply, but I cannot forward it to somebody else. Uh, and if I, for example, try to reply to the email, you see that the reply and reply all options are available, but the forward option is deemed, so I cannot do anything about it. That way we are securing information with inside the enterprise and you cannot have data leakage uh, outside of the organization, even from your phone. Now this email, 
is not just about uh, uh, it's not just letting me actually look at the uh, at the information, but it's also having information to connect me and to let me go into SharePoint online services. So that's the last part of the demo where I show you also so how we can connect into SharePoint online services living in Office 365 public cloud. So if I click on the link, what is happening is that instead of going into uh, uh, SharePoint on-premise, it's actually going to Office 365, and it's showing me the list of documents that I have in that particular shared folder directly here from my phone. Uh, and what I can do is I can actually open up that Word document, and the document, again, is being opened from the cloud uh, down here into my phone. I can check into the uh, summary. I can see, for example, that I have a comment down here in the total cost. And something that I can do is I can say that I want to edit this thing. And I can add a comment here, since we're trying to improve profits here, what I can do is I can actually ask uh, the team to uh, go back into the vendor and ask for a discount. So I can actually write that down. And then I can select this. And instead of writing down into it, I can actually just enter a comment and say, ask uh, for discount. There you go. I checked anywhere else, and there you see my comment is right there. So I can, I can look at it at any time. And if I click back and back here, it's going to ask me if I want to save the document. I'll just say yes. And what is happening now is that the document is saved back into the SharePoint server in the online Office 365 service. So everybody else on the team who has access to that same online service uh, will have access to the latest version of the document. So with this, we're just giving you a small peek of what we can do with the next release of uh, Windows Phone. Uh, code name Mango that we're going to be releasing later this year. And we're very excited about it. Hopefully you guys are too. This is just a little bit. There's many more things that we're going to be having in that release. And looking forward to, for you guys to look at it. Thank you very much.